Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again. Code with me. In this session of C programming language, we will be discussing about another interesting topic of data structure of C programming language that is queues. So guys, uh, before going to the directly to the theory and coding part, I would like to say that functionality of the stacks and queues is found to be 100% same. That's right. The functionality and the internal operation of stacks and queues is found to be 100% similar, but the difference between the stacks and queues is in stacks, friends, we come up first, first in last out operation. But in queues, first in first out. That means the element first inserted, that the same element will be deleted first. In stacks, we have come across that the element first inserted will be last deleted, but in queues, element first inserted will be deleted first. So that is the slight difference between stacks and queues. So, okay, friends, queue is also nothing but data collections in which items are kept in order, which are inserted, and primary operations are to insert an element and then and dequeue it. Dequeue in the sense you delete an element. That's right. So, in queue, friends, you make use of insert function to insert an element. Like this, you can place here insert 10, I have inserted an element 10 here. Insert 20, I have inserted an element 20 here. Insert 30. 30 inserted, insert 40, and 40 insert. Now, clearly observe, friends, as soon as every time when I try to insert the value, the value of R is found to be, which is used to keep the count of the queue. I mean, the number of elements present in the queue can be judged by looking at the value of R. If the R is 1, that means we can say that there are two elements in this queue. If the R is 2, there are three elements. If the R is 3, there are four elements. Depends upon the size of the queue that you give. So this is how you insert an element. This is how this is how you create an element and insert in the queue. So friends, uh, speaking to the delete function, same we are saying before. Here I here I have displayed the format in reverse way. The reason because friends, most of the students get confused that stacks and queues are formed to be similar. But you now clearly see here, friends, in this stack queues, the operation will start from the downwards. First, I have deleted ten. 20, 30, 40. In this program, I've declared in other, uh, other words, I mean, the reverse direction because, friends, most of the students will get confused regarding stacks and queues delete operations. In stacks, friends, keep that in mind 10 will be deleted first, after that 20, after that 30, and after that 40. So, queue is nothing but it's a, it's nothing but a data structure. It is used to store elements and delete whenever it's needed. Okay, friends, this is uh, how queue works. We use insert function to insert an element and delete function to delete an element. So speaking to the coding part, I will be starting coding now. So request to kindly please keep all the variables that I use. Here I may use of queue, I mean the name of the queue, and R is found to be the keep the count a variable that is kept the count of variables and followed by insert function and delete function. So request to keep remember these variables that you use in this slides. So the, when, when I'm going to the coding part, you will come to So friends, speaking about code, uh, coding part. So friends, in, uh, before going to the coding, I like to say that I will break this program into four sub-modules. Okay, that is insert to insert an element inside the queue, and delete, click an element, and display, I'm sorry, and followed by main program. Friends, the reason I'm breaking this program into four submodules because it will be easier to debug the program if you found any errors. So if you debug the program, it will say the compiler will say that I'm found I'm finding in a fault in this particular function. So it will be easier to compile the program. If I mix all the things, uh, all the functions in, inside a main program, it will increase the complexity. For that particular reason, I'm breaking this program into multiple submodules. So friends, we're starting with Insert function. How do you insert an element inside a queue? Difference. So, so friends, if I want to insert an element, first I have to create an element. So if I create an element, I need a variable to store that. So friends, I'll create a variable with element. Friends. So initially I'll put a condition. What, what I'll put a condition? If the stack is empty, I can insert an element. Okay, friends. If the stack is full, I cannot insert an element. So initially, I'll give a condition, a condition such that if the stack is full, what should I do? If the stack, I mean, 
the size of the r which is used to in the complete the count of numbers inside the queue if the r is equal to size minus 1 size, size means there are five mm, so i'm sorry four as i showed you in the slide section that there are a couple of holding four elements in the queue okay if the size i mean if the queue is full so i'll be displaying a state message so that the user will easily understand that the queue is full and not add elements so now that the user have clear understanding that the queue is full i cannot insert if the queue is not full that means i have elements to store what should i do friends i will do i'll create a variable create a variable int f the value just to be stored difference by semi uh, link character semicolon and i will read the input scan of function b followed by ampersand element so friends i have successfully created an red element now i have to insert this value inside the queue how should i do it friends very simple friends i'll i'll make use of the name of the queue devil mean given I have given the name of the Q here as Q followed by R. I'll just use to get the count of the number of elements inside here, inside the queue. So I'll insert the value of element inside this Q of R. And after that, I'll increment R. As I have explained to you in the slide section, why we make use of uh, why we increment the value of R in every to insert a value. That's how you can clearly get to know whether the stack is full, empty, or half. Okay, friends, now you have successfully noted down the insert function. Okay. Now we're writing the delete function. Okay, friends, we delete. In coming to the delete part function, uh, one thing keep in mind that did that this delete function only perform delete operation. So what I'm saying is there is no need to declare any variable or no need to scanning any variables, no need to importing anything. This delete function has to perform only delete. So friends, in order to delete function, first I have to check. If the stack is empty, I cannot delete anything. If the stack is full, that means if the stack contains any element, I can delete. Okay, friends. So what I will do, first I will check. If the stack is empty, or is minus one, that means the count of R is found to be zero. I mean, there are no elements. I'll be declaring a statement that will be understandable to the user that there is no element to display okay friends followed by new line character and semicolon okay and if there is an element to display in the queue so i'll be directly deleting the element there's no need to give a loop because functions the function of this queue i mean first in first out is in kind of a inbuilt operations which is done by J Denis Amrich, which is found to be the founder of C programming language. So I'll be directly deleting the element by making the printer statement. Element deleted this and followed by S of I'm sorry friends, Q, uh, Q of I. Friends successfully okay, successfully deleted an element. Okay. Now, as soon as I deleted the element, friends, what I will do, I'll be incrementing the R. I'm sorry. I've incremented the R. So I successfully deleted this insert element and followed by this. Uh, I'm sorry, friends, it's not Q of 5, this is Q of element. And successfully noted down uh, insert function and delete function. So friends, if I am first request to kindly pause the video, note down all the programs because these are all very important programs. Coming to the next display function. Internal coding of displays won't be friends, but similar to that of fit function. Okay. This I'm saying because see in display function, I have to display the display if there are elements inside the stack. If there are no elements inside the stack. What what uh, what should I display? So in the same scenario, I'll be checking the condition if or is empty. So minus one. Okay. Sorry. Okay. 
I'll be entering the same in the function. Sorry. And if there is an element should display, I have to make use of loop friends. A loop because deleting is another functionality which makes use of principle first in first out. Okay, but uh, for time being, I'll be making use of for loop. You can use any loop, excluding switch. You can use any loop for loop, if loop, if else, whatever it may be. Make use of for loop. Okay. Is equal to size. Okay. Float by a less than or equal to r. Okay. Plus plus. Okay. We directly printing the elements. If there is any elements in the stack, we directly printing it. Percentage b be adding invariant character in auto body confusion and followed by q of i. This I'm making use of Q of I because since I'm inside the loop, I will be getting an I. So, friends, now I'm now I have completely entered insert function, delete function, display function. So, friends, now I have to write a program. I mean, a full length program. How should I write it, friends? Okay, friends, now we're starting with the directly main program. Void main. Now, keep that in mind, friends, I'll be Coding this main program step with that first I'll have option enter one to insert enter two to delete enter three display. The reason I'm entering is in a choice manner because friends, since this uh, queues data structure make use on make use of only two functionalities that is insert and delete. So instead of directly coding in a, in a type of traffic source, I'll be making use of a step by step manner. So in order to better clarity, I'll show you friends int choice. Choice B printing is printf enter enter insert an element okay. printf enter to to delete element okay, friends. And for the last, enter printf, enter the display the element. So, friends, now you can clearly see here, you have a clear idea what I'm going to enter. And followed by read the element that you have entered. Followed by percent b. Followed by ampersand uh, amp choice. So, now we'll be making use of switch loop. Reason, uh, the reason why I'm using loop here, friends, because there are three scenarios. Either the user can input one, or he can enter two, or he can enter three. Depends on his choice. If he entered apart from one, two, three, I should display as that this is an invalid input. Please enter either one, two, or three. Let's do it, friends. I'll open a switch case. As I said before, there are only three cases here. This one, this two, and is three and followed by default friends case one if the user entered one will be directing him directly to the insert function and i'll break the loop reason you have to break the loop friends because if you continue the loop you keep on uh, keep on looping multi uh, infinite times okay followed by break function and case three display Okay, and I'll break the loop. Okay, and coming to the last, if the user enter another number excluding one, two, and three, so I'll be displaying a state a statement to him stating that invalid input enter is enter valid input. So the user will have clear clarity what he's going to do. So friends, now you can clearly see here successfully written all the programs here. Okay, now if I execute what happens, let me show you friends. So friends, when I try to execute the program, see here, when I try to execute the program, I'm sorry, there's a slight problem with the network, it is quite slow. So when I try to execute the program, it should display as, I'm sorry, to display three, these three 
columns enter the enter one to display the element enter two to delete the elements and enter three to display the elements here see friends uh, if your program is read inputs since i'm making use of this uh, this uh, different software which allows to accept the inputs in different column so i'll be entering the output in std inputs okay enter uh, enter one execute so when it execute friends you can see here enter one to insert ten element enter two to delete an element enter three to display the element so i'll enter the value okay uh, for example okay i have to enter here also execute okay sorry uh, i'm sorry since i'm making use of uh, different software here example friends i'll entering three here and execute the program it is showing as three here zero that means friends friends since i'm making use of this different software it will it is quite unable to out, uh, run the program here because the output area and followed by the stacks input is going to be completely different so request it to kindly note on or note on the program and execute it so that you can uh, and execute the program you will have the clear clarity of how this uh, queue exactly works okay friends if you like this video to kindly please like share and subscribe and if you have any doubt regarding this queue data structure request you to please Pin down your comments inside, uh, pin down notes in the comment section and definitely reply back. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Keep coding. Be happy.